Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be reviewing Truly Me number 29. In my collection, her name is Ren, but for the video purpose, I'm going to be referring to her as her number. Let's get a closer look at her beautiful face. I'm going to go over her general features first and then get into more detail. So she has the classic face mold in a medium skin tone, dark brown eyes with a pinwheel form, and long layered brown hair. I've brought out two other dolls in my collection who both have the classic face mold and a medium skin tone. They all generally have the same eyebrow color. I think 29 and 49 are exactly the same. 42s might be a slight darker color. Their lip colors seem to follow the same line as their eyebrows. They all look very similar, but I have to say that 29 and 49s look a little lighter than 42s. These are their skin tones next to each other. They all look relatively the same, but I feel like 49 and 29s are a bit more red and 42s is a little more yellow. After looking at these medium skin tones for a while, I would say that 29 and Luciana have the same skin tone. It's a bit more red and a little darker than 42 and 66. 42 and 66 have the same skin tone. It's a bit more yellow and on the lighter side than Luciana. Leah seems to fall right in the middle. I feel like her skin tone isn't quite quite as light as 42 and 66, but it doesn't have that same red undertone as 29 and Luciana. Moving on to hair color, American Girl categorizes a lot of their dolls as a brown haired, when in actuality they have many more than just one simple brown hair color. On the left, I have my American Girl at number 59, and her hair is much redder and more of a chestnut brown, and on the right I have 29, and her hair is much sandier and lighter. I now have number 19 on the left and then 29 on the right, and as you can see, their hair colors are exactly the same. They blend in so seamlessly together. If I'm ever having trouble figuring out dolls' hair colors, I just brush them together and see if they stand out. As you can see, I can't even tell where one starts and one ends. 29 also has layered hair. I brushed it to the front so you can see the different lengths. As you can see, she has these front portions that come here, but then on the side, it gets even longer. When all her hair is brushed to the back, you can really see how long her hair is. Right around this area is when the layers start happening here, and this is why it's shorter in the front, and then down here it is just straight. American Girl has two distinct types of layered hair. On the left, I have my American Girl number 30. Her and 29 show the same style of layered hair in which the layers are a lot longer and then the hair in general is a lot longer. Because of these big layers, the hair at the bottom is a lot thinner than the other type. The hair also tends to flip out and is really cute. On the right, I have Truly Me number 60. This type of layer is only really in the front of the head. It just frames the face as the rest of the hair in the back seems to be the same length. Truly Me number 27 also has similar hair to 30 and 29, but numbers like 39 and 59 are the same as 60's layers. I've gone ahead and put their hair in ponytails. Number 29 and 30's hair look relatively the same. 30's hair is a bit thinner, but that's just because I've had her for a longer time. And then compared to 60's really slick and sleek hair, number 29 and 30's hair does seem a little drier and a little more coarse. Number 29 and 60's hair seems to be about the same thickness, but I just feel like number 60's hair is a bit thicker. From the front view and the ponytails, number 29 and 30's hair can go all the way back with their layers, but 60's layers are a lot shorter so they do come in the front and they do not reach the back of her head. The hair also tapers a bit at the bottom, showing that it does have small layers in the back, but is generally the same length. There are two colors of brown pinwheel eyes from American Girl, so on the left I have the more common version, which is just the regular brown eyes. A lot of different dolls have this, just like Josephina, Luciana, there's so many of them, and my doll number 25 has them. But then number 29, as well as a few others, have a darker brown color. Number 29 and 59 have that same dark brown eye color. I can definitely see it more on 59 just because her skin is lighter, so it definitely stands out compared to the other dolls with regular brown eyes, but they both have this beautiful dark color. I've always found it easier to compare this dark brown eye color using number 59 because her light skin makes the darker brown pop more. It's really hard to see, but her eyes are a lot darker than 25. Last but certainly not least, my number 29 was purchased wearing the lilac dress and she does have neck strings in the back. If you purchase her now, she will come in the newer Truly Me outfit. And that's all I have to say about number 29. I hope you all learned a little bit more about American Girl dolls in this video. 29 is one of my favorite dolls and I kept wanting to call her Ren the entire video. 
I definitely recommend number 29 as a beginner doll because her hair is really soft and straight and has no texture to it so it's easy to brush out and is low maintenance. It also is layered so if your doll's hair gets dry at any point it can kind of hide that because you can just brush it to the front and it has its own place to settle. It also is quite long so you can definitely try out any sort of hairstyle as you would on a long haired doll without feeling scared you're going to ruin her hair because you can just brush it back out and it goes right back to normal. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.